I'm a 14 year old boy and um, I'm from Manchester. My hobbies outside school will probably be golf, which is my main hobby, and uh, probably reading and uh, different things like that. The bullying began four years ago when I was in year seven, and it was probably a group of uh, 20 or so boys doing a couple of years above me, um, and it was name calling and different things like that. I enjoy, you know, going to school and. Um, you know, learning new things and, you know, trying to, you know, be all that I can be. But obviously the bullies that bullied me didn't really see that. They just saw, you know, somebody that was different. Bullying just really made me feel so upset and uh, angry as well with these people. I didn't really respond to the bullying because you know, I didn't want to start calling them names because, you know, that's bullying as well. When I really decided um, that, you know, I needed to get this sorted, um, I had to, you know, pluck up the courage to tell my mum because, you know, I was quite scared of, uh, of what could, you know, what could the bullies do to me, you know, because I you know, decided to tell somebody. Well, after that, you know, we thought, well, we'll get this nipped in the bud quite quickly. So we uh, went into school and um, saw the uh, head teacher as it was then. Unfortunately, the, you know, the head teacher didn't take it quite as seriously as we wanted. What did you do? Um, well, we just said, you know, our procedure is in place and um, hopefully that that will sort it out. The bullying really just began to get worse because um, going into year nine, they just really started getting to a climax, and you know there could be up to six different incidents every day. One incident, one time, was uh, my maths book had been stolen, and it had been just found discarded in a bin. Another incident was um, had been hit over the head with um, tr a tray in the canteen and somebody had decided to hit me in, um, in one of my lessons. It really just made me feel so upset and angry and just so much pain. Just to get up every day to, school, to go to school was just, you know, do I have to go in? And for, for everybody I think who is bullied, you know, it's like, oh, I have to get up and, you know, what, what's going to happen today? You know, what will today bring? You know, every year, 16 to 20 young people decide to kill themselves because bullying gets so bad. Um, you know, I can relate to that because, you know, I felt so bad that I wanted to commit suicide. At the climax of the bullying, uh, my mum and, uh, and I decided uh, to say enough was enough and that this needed sorting. Um, we'd heard about this lady, Leslie Davidson, from the Antibullying Schools Project at the local authority and asked her, you know, could she come and speak to uh, me and uh, my mum, which she did. And after that, she came into school and spoke to the bullies and uh, some of my friends and um, you know help the bullying stop. I think that child line is a great way of um, victims of bullying and also bullies themselves uh, to be able to talk to somebody to work uh, to help them with any problems that they're having and you know child line isn't just there for bullying it's there for a whole range of reasons. When I leave school I want to go and study at college and university and hopefully become a child psychologist because I'd like to help children that feel the way that I felt and to help them with their problems and to make them feel better.